Hey guys, it's Miriam with lots of toys. Subscribe to our channel for lots of fun videos posted every day. Burnbot is exploding all over space and causing a lot of trouble. Will the Callista family and Captain Joe be able to apprehend him before he gets them? Stay tuned with us until the end of the clip to see. There's a report coming in that Burnbot is on the loose. Not the exploding Burnbot. Again? Miles, I need you to help Captain Joe. What do you think I can do, Mom? Captain Joe is going to pick you up in a few minutes. You're going to help Captain Joe apprehend Burnbot. He needs to be restrained immediately. According to my calculations, Uncle Joe is just about arriving. Captain Callisto, I'm about to land. No problem, Captain Joe. Miles is ready. Hey there, Miles. Uncle Joe! Are you ready for the mission? Armed and ready! Stellarific! Let's get going! First, I must make sure that the missiles are loaded in the space guard. Missile 1 is in. Check! Missile 2 is armed. Are we ready to go, Miles? I've been ready. Do you think I can pilot the space guard, too? Soon enough, Miles. We need to get after Burnbot. Quick! Trail. Burnbot should be just around this constellation. He's been causing chaos everywhere, exploding in the middle of dangerous places. Someone will get hurt soon if we don't apprehend him. That was your sure fun. I gotta do it again. It's even more fun to explode in space. I should have thought about this sooner. Something went wrong this time. I'm not fully exploded. There he is. I think we've spotted him. We must quickly capture him. I don't think he is aware we're here. We must quickly fire the missiles. Missiles are armed and ready. First missile missed. Where is he? After him. He is. He exploded again. He's coming this way, Miles. Quick, take control. I'll fire the missiles. Look, he's coming to help. It's Dad and Merc. Come on, guys. Let's go after Job, Merc. Let's take him back to the stellosphere and ship him off so he can be locked up forever. Awesome job, Merc. Yeah, buddy, you did a great job. You apprehended Burnbot all on your own. You're the best friend ever. This calls for a celebration, guys. I'll make dinner for everybody and we'll make some cake to celebrate.
I'm going to show you a really awesome ship for Miles from Tomorrowland. This is the Stella Sphere, and you're not going to believe this. It has an attachment, another starship that actually opens. We'll show you that in a bit. And it attaches here. And it has an engine here that lifts and lowers. This is a super fun ship. It's huge. And it has lights and sounds to it. And of course, this is the XVR that actually detaches. And it attaches to other ships. We'll show you that in a minute. But let's take a closer look at all the features this Stellosphere includes. And of course, this is for Miles from Tomorrowland. It has the TTA logo right here. And it's the ship that the Callista family actually travels through in space. Let's take a closer look at the inside of it a little bit. The top opens and it reveals the inside of the ship where we actually can put some stickers. We need to put some stickers inside over here for the controls. We're going to place a sticker here. This is the board. So inside you have the controls. There's a chair here that rotates. This is another control system, and of course, we have this door here that closes. This is another space for the ship to come out of. And of course, we have, we have a stellosphere that fits right in, and then you can close this up. And here is where the ship can come right out as it travels into space or you can actually fit it inside through there open the cockpit and you have a Miles figurine which is included in the set and he's ready in his TTA suit this is the only figurine that actually comes with the set and here's the board we have some stickers we need to place in here. Here's one of them. We can place a sticker here. And let's place a sticker on the other side as the board, the control board, just like that. There are stairs at the bottom of the ship, so the family can go up to the control room. Let's take a closer look at the Star Jetter that is included in this collection. It's a miniature model of another one we've reviewed. Be sure to click on the eye above to see the review on this model. This one doesn't have lights or sounds. It's just a mini model. And the cockpit opens. And you do have a chair and controls here. We need to put a sticker as well. We have the board here that I'm going to put a sticker for. Just like this. This is a fun ship. It actually can fit a minifigure, a Miles from Tomorrowland figure. Just like this. And close the cockpit and he's ready to take off. can fly the Star Jetter on its ramp over here and inside the Stellosphere. Here's the other fun Star Jetter that's included in this collection and this one also fits right on top of the Stellosphere. It's pretty flat. It has a cockpit that opens and there are controls here as well and Miles fits right inside. You have to seat him down, sort of like he's watching up in the sky. This is more of a flat chair. And close it up. And the engine actually lifts up when he's ready for takeoff. So 
the star jetter actually has a platform here at the top where it fits neatly onto. You snap it right into place when he's ready to take off on a special mission. He can just take off from the star jetter. I wanted to show you another really neat feature of this Stella Sphere. If you can actually remove the XVR. This is the jet or the wings of the ship. And you can attach this, this portion, which is called the XVR, to other star jetters from the Miles from Tomorrowland collection, like the Space Guard Cruiser. So what you do is there are two holes here and you have to match up the holes to, to these things here. So you match up these holes to here and sometimes you will need to adjust. They're adjustable here. So let's try to adjust them correctly and then snap them into place. And look at this. This is a neat feature of the Stella Sphere that actually works with the other ships that are in the collection. And the lights and sounds work. Now let's attach this XVR to our other ship. It's this ship. This is a giant form of the of this one that's included in Miles from Tomorrowland Stella Sphere. So we've actually reviewed all these ships on our channel. Be sure to click the eye above to see them. But now let's attach the XVR to this one. And again, make sure the wheels are actually inside. And take the XVR and match up the holes to this to these brackets here and then just press it in and look at this this is a very fun addition I have a fun new toy for you today that I'll be showing you. It's called the Launch and Go Forest Adventure. It's Blaze and the Monster Machine. And it includes a special mud racing Blaze. It has launching action. And a robot. Looks like a teddy robot. Launch past the swinging robo bear. And don't get chomped by it. We have other Blaze and the Monster Machines toys. Be sure to click the eye above at the end of this clip to see them. This Blaze toy actually includes a rev and race action. So that's sort of like a pullback motion. Very fun. Can't wait to open it up. Blaze. So how this works, you have to push down and then it just goes. So you see how it's lifted up? You have to push down and let it go. Here we go. So we have the base plate and it includes stickers all over. And we have this piece here. And let's set up our robot. He has a spinning action. So here's the track. There's a danger sign here for the robot. He's pretty fierce. He'll swing and get you. Then of course there's a trap up here that lifts up and to set it you have to press down. There's a high bump there so watch out Blaze when you're crossing. I'm 
ready for you, Robo Bear. Bring it on! Miss me, Robo Bear. He's not looking, I better go quickly. He's not looking, I better go quickly. Phew, that was close. Hey, Heat Wave! What are you doing here, Heat Wave? Oh, I came to test out the course. Do you think you can get past Robo Bear? I don't know, but I would sure like to try. He looks a bit fierce. Yeah, he's got me a couple times. Hey, guys! Hey, Chase! Did you come to try the course as well? Sure did, Blaze. That Robobot is a challenge, and I'm up for it. Alright, if you say so. I'll go first. Ah, that was a bit rough. I guess the only thing that's hurt is my pride. He wave, you're next. I'm ready for you, Robo. Oh. I'm bent out of shape. That course is tough. You're a scary little fellow, aren't you? Guys, look who's coming! It's Miles, everybody! Hey, guys! Hey, Miles! Do you come to join us? I've heard about this challenging Bearbot, and I want to see if I can beat him. Were you thinking of using your Star Jetter to do that? Yep, I sure was! Well, good luck to you! Well, here goes nothing. You did it, Miles! Yeah, that was awesome! Nice one, Miles! Your Star Jetter made it past the robot. We're opening a new toy, and this time, it's Miles from Tomorrowland again. And it's the Space Guard Cruiser. With Uncle Joe. There's an Uncle Joe included. And a really fun Space Guard cruiser. A space police car. It's a three in one cruiser that transforms. Take the Space Guard pledge to police the universe near and far. Help Captain Joe and the Space Guard police force capture galactic thieves and keep the space safe for everyone. This is a really neat vehicle. It transforms into three modes. It has tracks so it can go on land. You can extend the wings so it can fly. You can connect the Stellar Sphere, the Stellar Sphere engine to the, to the Space Guard Cruiser. Yeah, you can connect the XVR from the Stellar Sphere and you get different sounds and lights as well as super wings. It does include missiles. So let's go ahead and open it up. Look at this big awesome ship. Let's take a closer look at the Space Guard Cruiser. It's a very fun ship. It has a lot of neat features. It's a three in one module. You can just Remove the top by pressing this button here. And this top of the ship comes off. And what you're left over is a rover. 
a kind of another kind of a vehicle, a space vehicle that it actually rolls on land. You have an extra compartment in here. So this is really fun. It has lights and sounds. The ship has very nice movement. It really rolls easily. It kind of floats. This is Uncle Joe, and he's a space guard. He's part of the police force, the space police force. He has a really nice suit on, his space guard police force suit. He's part of the Callisto family. He's actually Miles' uncle. I'm Captain Joe. I help patrol the sky. I keep the sky safe for everyone. Come join me as we hunt for thieves. So let's go ahead and put this top back on. And you've got lights and sounds and missiles, of course. A police officer, even a space police officer, definitely needs missiles. There are two of them. And here's a neat feature. Push the wings together and you conceal or hide the missiles. So that's the third mode of the ship. Place Captain Joe right in the cockpit when he's ready to patrol the galaxy. He fits right inside. There are jet engines in the back. There are two of them. Beep, 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 beep. It's time for me to get ready to patrol the galaxy. But I first must inspect my ship and make sure everything is in tip-top shape. All you have to do is snap it into place. And now for the other side. It snaps right into place here too. Let's go ahead and snap my ship closed. And I'm ready to take off. This time we're going to be opening Miles from Tomorrowland. It's a figurine playset. And it has all the characters in here. We're going to learn about them and play with them. So let's go ahead and open this up. So here are all the characters. We have Phoebe, Leo, the Admiral, Miles from Tomorrowland, we have Merc, and his sister, her name is Loretta. Let's take a closer look at each one of them. 
First up, we have Miles. Miles loves adventure. He has his blaster board with him here. And of course, his spacesuit with his backpack. He has a Tomorrowland Transit Authority suit on. Hi kids, I'm ready for adventure. Join my family as we travel the galaxy. Hi, I'm Loretta Callisto, and my bracelet knows everything. It's got the answers. Loretta has a really fun outfit. In addition to her bracelets on her hand that you can see lifted up, she has her Tomorrowland Transit Authority suit. And she looks space-tastic. She also has a bun on her head. She's really smart and fun and very responsible. Next up is Merc. And of course, he's looking for Miles. He follows him everywhere. Here I am, buddy. Merc is Miles' best friend, and he's an ostrich robot. He's programmed to have feelings, and he's really part of the family. Come on, Merc. Let's go find some adventure. Next up, we have Phoebe, and she's the leader, the captain of the family. And she pilots the Stellosphere. She's really kind and warm-hearted. She has high standards for everyone and has a take-charge personality. She's a born leader. Kids! Where are you? Last but not least, we have Leo. He's a really fun dad. He's an engineer and he's an inventor. He invents lots of things that the kids and the whole family have adventures with. Well, hello, Admiral. We have very important information for you. No, I have very important information for you. What is it, Admiral? I think I've seen a space ghost running around. That wasn't a space ghost, you silly creek. Ah, what was it then? It was a space goat, actually. I thought you said the ghost. No, I said a goat. I'm on it, guys. I'm sure the kids will have fun with this. I said goat, not ghost, you silly. I thought you really said ghost. I'm very scared. No, goat! Ghost. Ah! This is the Admiral, and he's the commander of the Tomorrowland Transit Authority. He's actually a two-in-one person. I'm Creek. I'm Watson. Nice to meet you, kids. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below and tell me which character from here do you identify with. Which one do you think you are the most like? We have another Miles from Tomorrowland toy. It's the Star Jetter. We have Miles included with it. Rover! It includes a rover. It launches from the Star Jetter. It has light, sounds, and a lot of fun transforming motions. It's a three-in-one star jetter. It converts into three modes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. Here are the three-in-one star jetter transforming modes. First, we have the wheels popping down. This is the driving mode. This is the space mode where the wheels actually retract and then flies. And here are the extended legs. It just adds extra height to the Star Jetter. And the Star Jetter is used by Miles and his family, the Callistos, to connect to the universe. The Star Jetter, their most nimble and versatile exploratory shuttle, transports them anywhere in the galaxy. The collection includes Miles. However, in Miles from Tomorrowland, the show, Leo, the dad, actually pilots it. Of course, Miles knows how to pilot it at times. And he pilots the Stellosphere! Be sure to check out our channel. We've unboxed lots of Miles from Tomorrowland toys. And we also unboxed the Photon Flyer. Including, yes, the Photon Flyer. And lots of figurines with the Callisto family. We have lots of fun stories with this toy and other Miles from Tomorrowland toys, so be sure to click the I above at the end of this clip. You can connect the XVR from the Stellosphere to amp up the Star Jetter with lights, sounds, and wings. And the XVR are actually wings from the main ship, the Stellosphere. Now let's go ahead and open up our toy. So here's the fun Star Jetter. And it actually includes a figurine. It includes Miles. And he actually has a spacesuit on with his space helmet. 
So here's the Star Jetter in its extended legs format. Look how tall it is. It's super tall and fun. And the Star Jetter has an open cockpit. You can seat Miles right in there as well as another figurine. And Miles is ready to fly the Star Jetter. Close the cockpit. There's a rover included that's sent out to explore the new terrain on the planet. And then it fits right in here. You press the two buttons and the wheels activate. And you pull them out. The Star Jetter actually has track wheels at the bottom. And this is the terrain mode. It's able to drive. And you can see the TTA logo right on the Star Jetter. There are two jet engines and there's a handle here for you to be able to fly it. Press the button and activate lights and sounds. You press down and the wheels actually retract. They're tucked inside so the Star Jetter can fly and take off. But we need miles for that. So let's go ahead and put them in. Come on, Mark, you too. And it's ready for takeoff. We forgot our rover, let's load it in. Here it is in the extended legs format. And it just gives it extra height if it needs to go over trees. Pop it down. And now it's a star jetter. Ready for flight. Miles, come in, Miles. Yes, Mom. What's going on? We need your help. There's a giant asteroid that's threatening Earth. We need to get it before it starts orbiting it. Miles, use your exoflax suit and try to shoot it down. Got it, Mom. I'm coming to change. Here it is, Mark. My goodness, it's so giant. I must quickly get into my exoflax suit and try to shoot it down. I must first arm my exoflax. First side, armed. The other side is armed. Ready to go. Come in, Mom. Come in, Mom. Yes, Miles. What is it? Are you ready to launch? Yes. The cabin is secure. Exoflex is armed. I'm on my way. Good luck, son. Let me know if you have any trouble. I'll send back up. You got it. Ready to fire. Aim. Fire. Releasing second missile. Aim. Fire. Great job, son. Earth is now safe. Hey guys, it's Miriam with lots of toys. I'm so glad you can join me for another fun video. One of the toys featured in this video. It's Miles from Tomorrowland, and he has a transforming exoflex suit. It's a costume, and it's a space costume that has multiple functions. It can turn into a super face vehicle, sort of like a chopper. It actually shoots, 
and it's really, really, really fun. So here's all the soup can do. Of course, it includes miles, and here's the main form of it, which actually shoots missiles. And we have the drive mode here, and then the space mode where it flies. Very fun. So let's go ahead and open it up. So here it is, and this compartment here opens. This is actually the back. So Mayo fits in nicely in his chair. Then you secure him in, just like this. This is the other toy featured in this video, and this is a photon flyer. In addition to the ship, there's Miles and Merck included. So let's take a look at the back of the box, and you can see the playmat here and the ship, including the figurines. There's a pull-on photon flyer, a writable blast board. So let's go ahead and open it up, guys. Let's take out the play mat first. Hi kids! I'm back with another Miles set. This time I got the Scout Rover. It includes Leo, Callisto, and it includes some missile and some spinning wheels on the back. That's Leo. How you can connect the Stellar Sphere engines to it. And includes missiles, launching, and here's the Miles logo. Right there. So let's open this up. Let's take it out. Ooh, see it has an opening window. So kids. This is the Scout Rover. Leah. Miles is dad. So here are the missiles that it includes. Here. How do you want to fire the missiles? I don't think they're missiles. I think they're called. Let me read on the box. Push down to release flash beams. How? We've seen the Star Jetter. Be sure to check out that video. At the end of our clip, click the eye above for that. We've also seen the Space Guard Cruiser. We have that video if you click on the eye above. There's a link to it. And today we're going to take a look at the rover. This is a scout rover and it also has a launching beam as well. It launches flash beams right from here. And this one includes Leo, so that's Miles' dad. He's an engineer. And this is an exploratory rover. It actually scouts or explores any surface of a planet. It's a really fun vehicle. It has a top that actually opens. There are two seats in here so it can seat another person, another figurine, and it also includes Leo. And he has his spacesuit on, including this helmet so he can explore outer space. And remember there's no oxygen in outer space so he needs that to breathe. This is not removable so it does not come off. The rover is very fun and simple. It actually has wheels in the back that come up. So if you press down, the rover actually is more flat to the ground. But if there's a rocky terrain, you can lift the wheels just like this. So the rover can pass any rocks or surfaces that are more bumpy. This one does not have any sounds to it. It's more basic, but it has a wheel. And here are the flash beams that actually fit right into the rover. 
you press the button here and the wheels lower or you can just lift them up oh you have to put these up then oh maybe i didn't put the flash beam and in, beams incorrectly whoa how did you press down yeah and then Hey guys, I'm Leo. I'm Miles' dad, and I use this rover to explore any planet. It's very handy. The flash beams are helpful when I need to fire a flare. So let me load one up for you and show you how it works. There's a space for it right down here. Make sure the vehicle is lifted before you fire the flares, and then just press down. After you press down, the flares fire. Let's see that again. So load the missiles. Make sure you press them in all the way. So the vehicle needs to be in the upright position or in the up position when you load the missiles. Then you press down on the vehicle and the missiles or the flares fire. And that's how it's done, kids. Hey, Dad. Nice job, Dad. Thank you, son. That was a great tour of your rover. Yeah, you should come ride it with me. Come on, let's go. Don't forget to load the flares. We're ready to explore. That's it for us guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe and watch more by clicking the i above. Bye everybody.